Hello, my name's Jeff Richards and I'm the Head of Training Programme Development for Sage CRM and I am delighted to be joining you uh, on this uh, conference with Bass and thank you very much uh, to the guys from Bass for, in for inviting me and uh, I hope everyone is enjoying the sessions so far. Um, I've got a session for you now, uh, which is going to be covering and for the next 25 minutes or so, looking at uh, business process automation uh, within Sage CRM. So I'm going to switch over to my slide deck now uh, and see how we can get through. So there'll be a slight change as I, uh, as I switch over. Well, that seems to have worked a little bit better than I was expecting. Uh, we've started the presentation and that's good. So this then uh, with Bass Connect, uh, this is the Sage CRM tools for business process automation. Now, Sage CRM can be configured to execute recurring tasks or processes so that a business can remove the need to do these manually. The business process automation features of Sage CRM allow a business to minimize costs, increase efficiency and streamline processes. So join us as we walk you through the tools at your disposal. Well, that then is the idea. So we're going to be using Sage CRM business process features uh, here, automation features. And this is certainly true that um, I I hope to talk about how we can minimize costs, increase efficiency and streamline processes. But I'd actually go further than that and say that when Sage CRM is used within a full organization customer relationship management approach, you can expect not only increased productivity, but there'd be reduced errors within the workflow, uh, within the the tasks being processed uh, especially there would also be reduced time in task execution you can expect improvements in internal communication and also there would be reduced operating costs as well but this isn't a magic bullet to um associated with business process automation, CRM needs to uh, really have the whole of the organization, whole of the business aligned in support of these goals. And, and I want to start with really a, a thinking uh, exercise. Now, if you're going to be effective in taking advantage of the business automation features, then actually the first thing as an you as an organization needs to do is to have a long and hard reflective uh, think about the behavior that each of your front office teams um, actually performs. Um, even before we think about making changes in uh, CRM, the starting point is to look at whether all of your team members know the best way of doing their job. Uh, what are the habits that your most successful salespeople demonstrate that your least successful salespeople do not? And there are some questions that we can ask ourselves. So um, here's a question. Why do some marketeers manage to make their call target comfortably when some struggle to meet their quota? Uh, there's another question that we can ask. Why can there be such a difference, excuse me, <coughs> why can there be such a difference in how many cases can be resolved by one support rep over another? You know, once we know the behaviours that explain the difference uh, in internal productivity within your teams, then you can do two things. The first, that you can train people to follow the most effective behaviour, once you know what that behavior is. And the second, and this is where business process automation comes in, the second is that you can actually capture that behavior within the processes of Sage CRM so that everyone follows the same best practice. And we can do this by using workflow. We can use workflow to allow us to implement a strong sales process for all aspects of the sales cycle that would catch mistakes, um, provide shortcuts, uh, or would actually um, uh, actually capture anyone who's trying to skip steps that would otherwise um, have been made manually. 
Workflow in Sage CRM can make sure that the sales process is followed consistently. Um, mistakes detract from efficiency, shortcuts uh, that, that are really designed to convenience the salesperson actually can leave money on the table and fail to maximise the deal value. And if the process is drawn from the sales team's own best practice, then they're already trained thoroughly, then that does provide the advantage that all team members should understand why the workflow is in place and how it will affect the company's bottom line and actually also provide uh, an explanation as to why they, because it's come from them as best practice, should be keen to have that as the process that which they follow. And so a concrete example of capturing best practice in a sales process could be to add the requirement that when a sales rep closes a deal that they ask the customer for referrals. Um, you, can, you can actually um, ensure that the sales reps ask, is there anyone else in your personal or professional network who would benefit from our solution? Customer referrals are of high quality typically and a new customer would do a lot of selling for you. So it's an immediate boost um, to, at the top of the sales funnel. Now another thing that, that can be done uh, with business automation, um, business process automation is, is to address the question about how much time salespeople actually spend selling. Um, you, you don't want salespeople doing admin, you want salespeople doing selling. So salespeople using the system shouldn't get distracted with low priority activities and confuse pay time activity that that leads to that, that actually does lead to sales with no pay time activities. And, and so no pay activities or administrative actions should be automated as much as possible. Now we've got some examples of this, like so there should be never a need for a salesperson to prepare reports as everything should be a, a visible immediately from a manager's dashboard and pulled from the live system. Um, and actually the dashboard is so important because you can arrange this so that uh, if you're thinking from the perspective of a salesperson, all of the high priority work should come to the salesperson. From, from the dashboard, all of the key actions within work processes can be carried out. And that includes um, workflow because dashboards in Sage CRM are not passive. They allow direct workflow actions and customer contact actions can be performed directly from within inside the workflow. Now we do have another thing to think about within Sage CRM because Sage CRM is a highly integrated and integratable system. So we should always take advantage of the natural benefit of working within integrated systems. When Sage CRM provides the front end to a Sage accounting system, such as uh, Sage 300 Cloud or Sage 100 Cloud, then uh, a, a user would have access to a 360 degree view of the customer. Uh, this actually has come through, this, this screenshot is from a, a UK based um, accounting integration, but potentially a user can see all aspects of the customer interactions. And so if there was an issue with other departments such as accounting, operations or technical support, no salesperson would find themselves in an ambush situation. Only by having a complete knowledge of the customer history and current status can um, full sales potential be maximised. Now talking about integration. It's it's glib sometimes just to say oh and of course you, you, we can we can do the work across integrated systems. There are integrations available or have been created uh, by Sage customers uh, for business applications as diverse as human resources system uh, integration, project management, membership management, loan management, uh, different collaboration software, document distribution, uh, time and expense reporting, and even route planning. So all, all provided by partners and um, enabled by professional services. This is all 
that we can do. Now, these integrations exist so that a company's requirements uh, to grow um, can be enabled, but also so that they can grow without um, adding in unnecessary complexity within uh, uh, the business uh, solutions. So these can simplify and unify user experience from the front end to the back office. This is all about bringing the experience and driving it from within the, the uh, CRM user's interface. And the Sage CRM uh, can enable organizational growth by ensuring really a consistent quality of customer experience. Uh, there's the idea that you've got a single place that data is going to be entered, so there's a single point of accuracy as well uh, needed throughout the business. So this idea of business process automation can stretch across systems. So I'm going to illustrate this really with some stories. Let's let's introduce you to somebody. I'm going to call her Ellen. Now Ellen um, works in field sales. Now she happens to <laughs> this field sales when we could all visit people um, pre-COVID. But here she is. She's waiting in reception to meet a customer and she's just sent an email. Now what she's done is that she sent an email to an automated system managed by CRM to check the status of stock. So the email address went to stock at panoplytech.com. Panoplytech is the uh, demo data, uh, demo company within inside the standard CRM environment. And it's monitored by a product or, or an element that comes out of the box within CRM called the mail manager, advanced mail manager. Now, the advanced mail manager can be configured to check that the email has come from a registered Sage CRM user. Then it can parse the email looking for keywords. It can query the both Sage CRM and the Sage accounting system to pull back the necessary information about products that and, and the email would have been parsed so that the, you know what products are being mentioned. And then that information can be straight sent straight back to Ellen. And, and that sort of key information about stock availability and delivery times could be made immediately available to sales reps like Ellen, um, who can make then uh, appropriate informed recommendations to customers. Now, of course, that's that precludes the idea that you could have been using an app and, and, and apps as well, so HCRM, um, uh, has uh, REST APIs that allow you to create the types of apps and things that, that you need on uh, a phone as well. So Sage CRM allows reps to feel confident that their promises to customers can be met uh, and customers to have confidence that the sale will be hassle-free as well. So here's another another person in uh, my fictional uh, fictional universe of Panoply Tech. Christina is a sales rep. Now her team deals with larger distributors and Sage CRM is configured so that she gets an alert that certain inventory items are currently overstocked in one of the warehouses and that alert can appear on her screen. We've got this feature within CRM called notification so she can get that notification shown on her screen. Now it can also be configured because of the APIs internally that the system can already have created a group for her, a, a list of distributors who are likely to reorder and that group is presented to Christina to allow her to start calling them to offer a discount. And that can also, um, that that ability to work with a list of customers and enter directly um, their orders into an accounting system is very much a feature of the integration. And she can also add notes and tasks for her colleagues about when a contact should next be made. So she's tying in not only for that campaign that she's involved in, but also a, an ongoing um, uh, element of account management as well. And the same group of contacts that she's identified could also be sent to MailChimp for a mail campaign to support the sales team. So you've got all forms of, of automatic behavior supporting this particular sales goal. 
at the heart of a lot of what we're talking about within business process automation for CRM really is workflow. So workflow provides a strong template for team behavior. Uh, using workflow allows you to implement a strong support process, for example, um, for all aspects of after sales experience. So it's not just about sales, it's about the full customer experience, whether it's complaint management, standard service requests or interaction um, with the accounting system as part of a returns material authorization process. Well-designed workflows can catch mistakes, prevent sloppy shortcuts, it can eliminate skipped steps that would otherwise be possible within a manual process. The huge advantage that Workflow makes is that it is consistent. In uh, It never gets bored, it doesn't get distracted, it takes people down the route of ensuring that uh, everyone works effectively and efficiently. So um, if a support engineer who keeps um, ending a call with a customer by telling them to reboot and try again, well, that sort of behavior can leave a customer with a bad taste in their mouth and fail to give that customer the experience that, that actually uh, will lead to a renewed sale. So you can, you can actually uh, record the steps that have to be taken by the, by the support consultant. And again, it's important that workflow works best when it captures the best practice from within a team. So imagine, imagine a uh, situation. Imagine a, where a customer buys a server license and a set of licenses for a particular product. Now, um, in the demo company we've within CRM, you've got this demo company called Panoply Tech. So let's pretend there's a product called Panoply Tech Expense Manager. The customer has bought a server license and a set of licenses for that 18 months ago, and. Imagine that there's a problem with running on uh, Windows after a recent update and they send an email to the support desk. The email can be sent to the standard support email account. This is another type of use of the advanced mail manager. The, the advanced mail manager um, although it's not formally part of a workflow, it plays a part in shaping the experience of the customer because you can, you here you can see a case has been logged automatically by the mail manager into Sage CRM. Um, the email that they sent is logged into the system as well so that the, and it's also configured that there's an email sent as an automatic response to the customer acknowledging receipt of that initial email and that type of automated behavior where the customer is reassured that their case has been received that their email has been received it's been logged and it's been allocated means that it's starting to reassure and manage the customer's expectation and it's possible that you can notify, you can assign automatically a case or an issue that comes in automatically to a user and have that user notified that a new case has arrived within the system and it's been assigned to them. And you can see here that on their list there's an escalation rule has detected that um, and, and that it also lacks a service uh, level agreement and therefore uh, a case, uh, a task has been uh, allocated because um, some work needs to be done before the case can be managed. Workflow shapes the experience for both the user of the system and the customer and even before uh, the support agent contacts the customer, they can be reminded to explain to the customer that uh, they have an upgrade entitlement through their existing contract. And all of this can flow into shortening the, the chain between the customer and the benefit that they hope to receive because you can use things like self-service as well. So delivering a high quality customer experience should be the heart of any workflow. Uh, customers want to know what's happening. Uh, so CRM allows processes to be made absolutely transparent with real-time data being delivered um, 
to here an example uh, secure customer self-service site and you can show a customer progress towards resolution of an issue or progress towards completing that customer service request made immediately shown immediately on the self-service site and so Sage, Sage CRM has uh, these um, web services and uh, self-service APIs that allow any of your systems to be configured to enable um, the customer to be involved in the process uh, that that is handling their their concern so they can be invited to submit more details or or even alert the company if the if, if an issue is resolved without further interaction so any workflow within Sage CRM can also be designed to kick off uh, further processes. You, you, here I'm showing you the types of actions that are available. A service workflow, for example, could allow a representative to uh, identify a possible lead and therefore start a new lead process. Or where a service rep has been helping the customer with an inquiry, they might actually be able to directly start a sales process themselves. So you can turn everybody into a uh, a sales user and you can turn or, or, or part of that sales process and you can turn um, everything into a customer service experience as well so I've I've gone through a, a range of different things now looking at uh, Workflow was at the heart of, of it, but we've we've touched on uh, self-service, we've touched on uh, email management as well. All of these are um, process automation features within Sage CRM that really should allow an organization to minimize costs, increase efficiency, and streamline processes. I, I, when I started work um, about a thousand years ago, we used to talk about um, computing offering that ability to ensure consistency, accuracy, uh, accuracy and speed uh, of uh, any of the interactions. They're not magic bullets. Your company needs to be fully aligned uh, around uh, a customer-centric approach to support those goals. But there you are. You, you should have had a good sense of uh, what those um, Sage CRM business process automation features are. We're at the end of our session today. So I do hope that was useful to you. And um, please check out the other sessions that we're running uh, within Bass Connect. And uh, uh, David Beard, my colleague, and I, um, we look forward to receiving your questions. So long for now. Um, I'll see you at the other sessions. Thank you. And uh, have we managed to keep it? I think we've I think I've actually managed to keep to time. Thank you. <laughs>